A special thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video, but more on that later. Good morning, everyone. It is our final day here in California. Tomorrow we leave for our flight to France and then we will be joining the ship. So it is going to be a day full of just organizing, getting myself sorted. I got a lot of work I need to do, maybe a little bit of laundry and that's pretty much it. I cannot believe this rehearsal process on land is already over. The time went by so fast and it's been great so far. So I'm excited for what's to come. Just dropped my mom off at the airport this morning. She was able to visit for a couple days, which was great. She was able to watch the show, which was fabulous. And we had a really fun night last night with the cast. So I had to drop her off at the airport because her flight was at 8 a.m. this morning. So I was up pretty early, woke up at six o'clock to drive her there and now I'm just in the lobby doing some work so Brianna can sleep and I mean, I'm already awake so I might as well get a head start on the day. I need to do today. Edit, catch up on emails. That one I really, really need to do. Post a couple shorts and TikToks and reels. I need to do laundry and I need to buy shampoo and conditioner and micellar water from Target. So I think we might walk over to Target. I don't know if I should put my laundry in now or wait until we come back. I'll probably do it when we come back because we have the full day, but it's absolutely beautiful outside. So hot and sunny and I just want to lay by the pool, but We've got things to do before a very busy travel day tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. So I gotta make sure I set myself up for success. And please don't mind the appearance today. The hair is it's not doing what it needs, you know? Final Target run for a while, because obviously we're going to France and they don't have Target in France. <laughs> but I'm going to try and stay on task and only buy the things I absolutely need, which is really not much. I need shampoo, conditioner, I need micellar water, maybe some more cotton rounds, and maybe lipstick. I think that's pretty much it. There's something else, but I cannot remember. Micellar water, eyeliner. Actually, this is super useful. I'm still debating whether or not to get full-size shampoo and conditioner or to get travel size until we get to back into the U.S. I'm like, I just can't make that decision. We're back. I actually stayed on track at Target. I did get something that I did have on my list, but it is a very practical selection. Also, so happy I bought this hat last weekend in Santa Monica. I love it, so cute. So, mini, mini haul. I got this little storage container in the dollar section. It was $3. There's two compartments, a spoon. Very useful. I did change my mind on the shampoo and conditioner. I ended up getting the travel size because I don't wash my hair every day, so I'm not gonna need that much. This should hold me over till we get to the States or I can buy some in France. Micellar water. My eyeliner is starting to dry out, so I got a new one. And last but not least, I got some clear elastics. I swore that I packed these, but I cannot find them anywhere. So I need these for show hair, especially for braids. That's a must. But that's everything, I stayed on track. I basically picked everything out I needed in like five, 10 minutes. Oh, that's a record for me in Target. But I am so hungry now. It hit me so fast. I don't know why, I'm so hungry now. Like I was in Target and all of a sudden I was just starving. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat for lunch. I've got some food still left in the fridge that I need to go through and finish. So that might be a plan. I've got a yogurt. I've got some strawberries. Today's gonna be like a mishmash of eating, just random things. And then tonight I'm gonna eat my leftovers from dinner last night. So that's, that's the plan. My yogurt looks stunning. She is overflowing, but nonetheless, she's stunning. 
And I finished off the strawberries. I should have done this sooner, but so it goes. We're gonna do it now. I'm gonna write out a to-do list of all the things that I wanna get done by the end of today, because obviously we travel tomorrow and then we're signing on on Friday. So it's gonna be a busy couple days and to-do lists just keep me on track, keep me productive and just keeps the ball rolling, if you will. So of course I'm gonna write out all the work that I need to get done. I gotta edit some stuff, some voiceovers. Um, I have to post a few things. So I've got all of that, but I also want to organize my budgeting for the upcoming contract. I have made videos in the past about budgeting and how I save my money during a contract, but I figured now would be the perfect time to bring up the topic again because I am joining the Utopia of the Seas on Friday. And my number one tool to help me with all of this is Rocket Money, which is also the sponsor of today's video. So a huge thank you to them. Rocket Money is such a useful tool. I cannot believe I didn't start using it sooner. So it is a personal finance tool that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower your bills, and help you just overall manage your money better. Overall, I would say I'm really good about money, saving, setting budgets for myself, but it is always beneficial to have a little bit of extra help. You can create a custom budget for your lifestyle and you even can get notifications when you've exceeded your spending limit. I like to save as much of my money from a contract as possible and you can also set up savings through Rocket Money. It's so simple, all you have to do is set an amount and frequency and it'll automatically deposit your money into a smart savings account. What's great about this is you can also withdraw at any time. No matter what your financial goals are, I think Rocket Money can help everyone. These two key features are so, so beneficial for me and they're gonna be great for this upcoming contract. So I will know exactly how much I'm saving and how much I'm spending. And it will 100% keep me on track for my financial goals. So as I am, take control of your finances today. You can go to rocketmoney.com slash Jordan Bouth and get started for free. So I'm gonna sit down with my laptop, write out my to-do list, organize my budgets for this upcoming contract. And once my food is digested, we will head to the gym and get a little midday workout in. It is time to check in for my flight. I just got a notification. So we're gonna do it now. I'm manifesting good seating. Our bags free for this flight as well? Slay. I think they're included. Or maybe they're not included, but the ticket they got me includes bags, which is fabulous. 19B, what is that? No, you didn't. They gave me a middle seat, but you know what? For sure, that will not be the case. I will be in an aisle if it's the last thing that I do. It turns out they're trying to have me sit in the middle for both flights. This first flight is like four hours, and then the second flight is an eight hour flight and I will be finding my way out of that one. I will not be sitting in the middle for that long. That's just, sounds like a terrible time. <laughs> we'll deal with that tomorrow. Tomorrow I will go up to the counter. Usually I don't have an issue with it, but at least I'm checked in and I don't think that my, my bags were already included in my ticket, so I don't have to pay for those. workout was so solid. I feel incredible. I actually feel so energized. I ended up doing 30 minutes of the 12, 3, 30, but on 15 incline. And then I did 20 minutes of upper body and also some abs and stretching. So it's a sweaty one. Last load. I absolutely love this table because you can move it around. So I think I'm gonna set myself up right on the bed and I'm gonna sit on the edge of the bed and do some work. Sometimes it's just good for me to switch where I'm sitting because it helps with my productivity. Oh, look at that. Angel number. Hey girl. Maybe this will be more comfortable. Let's see. Yeah, this is, this is good. 
The thing is, we have a desk right there, and I usually sit there and do work, but I feel like I need to switch it up so that I get in like a work mode and just zone in. It always helps me to switch up my workspace. And even though I'm in the same room, it changes it a little bit. But I did make a coffee, a little afternoon pick-me-up. I am at the end of that package of pods, so I just wanted to finish them out so that I don't have to pack them back into the suitcase. Clothes are in the wash, and I'm gonna jump back into editing. Cause there's a lot to get done for the flight tomorrow, and I'm hoping that I can get some done tomorrow at the airport, but I don't know how likely that is, given that we're gonna be the entire cast together. I don't think that it's gonna be the most productive time, if you will. It's time that I start packing up the bag. I folded the laundry. I've been editing for quite a few hours, and I don't think I can put off packing any longer, so I'm gonna start putting everything into the packing cubes. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. Everything is clean. I didn't really buy anything, just a couple few like little tops, so it should fit no problem. And uh, we're gonna get into the suitcase, but the sooner I do this, the better. Then it's just tucked away and ready to go for tomorrow. I also have to pull out what I'm gonna wear at the airport, because I haven't thought about that yet. And it's gonna be a long, long, long travel day, so I wanna make sure I'm nice and comfortable and also warm because I usually get freezing on those flights. Packing cubes have been living in here and they're not really organized anymore. I mean, some things are still organized because I haven't worn them, but it's a little bit of a mess as you can see. So we're gonna just rearrange some things. I might have to refold a few things as well, but it really shouldn't take me long. Okay. Here we are again. We knew we were only here temporarily, but still having to pack up so soon is not my favorite thing ever. I've like finally settled into the hotel and stuff, but now we're gonna go to the ship and then we won't have to pack up for months. Cubes are good to go. We're gonna just put them back into the luggage. Pretty, pretty simple. It is dinner time. I have my leftovers from yesterday and then I've also made a little salad with the remaining veggies that I had in the fridge. I also have a pina colada drink that I bought for the barbecue on Saturday and did not drink it. So this is what's for dinner tonight. I kinda wish the steak was a little bit bigger, but we'll be fine. I'll just drink more water if I'm still hungry. <laughs> Update, a few hours have passed. We're still plugging along. Giant game of Tetris over here. Honestly. <laughs> With the packing We're cubes. figuring it out. Yeah. We're doing well though. I think we're, we're pretty close. This one is all set. I just have to put my toiletries in it. This I have weighed. It was 21 kilo and the limit is 23. This I didn't weigh because it's my carry-on, but that's all packed up and ready to go. As you can see, she's looking gorgeous backpack doesn't really have much in it it looks like it does but i swear there's not a lot in it it's just gonna hold my ipad laptop cords and then that's pretty much it i've preset my locks for my suitcases i have the scale i got this on adventure this was like our christmas gift years ago and i've also preset my vitamins for the morning so i don't miss a day i've put my hair into my unicorn I did forget to film it. I know a few people want to see how I do it. It's very simple. It's almost like French braiding. You just wrap it around one way and wrap it around the other way. I'll show you another time. But this is how I'm going to sleep so that my hair looks nice in the morning. Probably will not last the whole travel day seeing as it's going to be a long one. But at least, oopsies, at least it'll start out nice. It is time for me to actually get ready for bed. Take off my makeup, brush my teeth. I've already got my pajamas on. Tomorrow, we have to leave the hotel at 9.30 to return the rental cars, and then we should be on our way. I've already got my boarding passes 
on my phone. And yeah, it's getting very real. We're flying to France tomorrow. Hasn't fully sunk in for me yet. Just honestly was focusing on all the work I need to get done today and packing. The day has gone by so fast. I don't know where the last four hours went, but it's okay. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna wake up bright and early, triple check everything one last time, and then we'll be traveling with the cast, which is gonna be an experience in itself, I'm sure.